In just a few minutes, learn how to use Zoom to teach an online lesson. As course instructor, all you'll need is a free Zoom account, which you can find at zoom.us. You do need a microphone and a webcam, but these might be built into whatever device you're using. As the course instructor, I definitely recommend a headset microphone for better quality. Once you've registered, go to My Account, and then Schedule a Meeting. This is where you can customize your meeting or lesson. It should be noted that we're using the free version of Zoom, and this will restrict us to 40 minutes with three participants or more. If you're looking for more time, you may have to upgrade, or the other option is just start the lesson multiple times. But you can start by entering the information for your meeting. If you like, you can set a password. You may also want to mute participants upon entry. This is a good feature for a large group. As host, you'll want to share this link with students, either through email or through a location like a learning management system. Students will be able to join our meeting from any phone or mobile device as well. Just make sure they've downloaded the Zoom app. Now as teacher, to begin my lesson, all I have to do is select Start Meeting. The meeting should automatically begin. Choose Join with Computer Audio. By clicking Manage Participants, it will show me everyone who is currently in this meeting. Right now, I just have one student. You'll notice that I have the microphone and the video turned off. This is so I can deliver my lesson. At the bottom of this window, I'll have other options as well. Right now I'm allowing participants to unmute themselves. This might be something that I want to turn off so I don't get interrupted. I also have this set to mute participants upon entry. That way when new members join my meeting, I won't hear the noise from their microphone. And if I am in a situation where I need everyone to be muted, there is the mute all button. This will disable the microphone for everyone in the group. If I want to take questions, I can either manually unmute each student or I can select mute all. You might also notice the chat menu on the side. By turning this on, this can be a good way to chat either to everyone or just to send a message to individual students. As teacher, if I want to bring up a PowerPoint presentation or to share my screen, I can go to the bottom where it says share screen, choose the screen that I want, and my screen will be shared. After sharing your screen, you'll notice the controls at the top to stop, just select Stop Share. Once your lesson is finished, all you have to do is close the Zoom window and choose End Meeting for All. So that was a crash course in using Zoom to teach an online class. So to summarize, what you'll need to do is go to zoom.us to create an account. Schedule a meeting. Share the link to that meeting with participants and use some of the tools that we discussed to hold your online class.